Hi everyone, welcome back to e-commerce success by Ad360. Today we're responding to a Shopify store owner asking why are they getting a bad speed score? We're going to try and see what can be the cause of this and what are actionable steps you can take to improve this score on your website. If you enjoyed these videos and like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I publish a new video every day, so if you want to get new tips and advice every day to improve your website, improve your results, get more sales, feel free to subscribe and uh, uh, activate the little bell icon to receive notifications. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment below. Each comment really helps us a lot. It helps boost the channel visibility and it makes our day to see people happy and sharing feedback or thoughts or questions. So feel free to do that, it will help us a lot. This video is brought to you by Ad360. Ad360 is the easiest way to start advertising all over the web in just one click. You can get your products promoted in multiple different websites, from big news websites, blogs, uh, small websites, uh, any kind really. Outside of Google and social media, there's actually a majority of ad inventory which is underused at the moment by uh, e-commerce uh, business owners. So if you want to learn more, there is a link in the description to book a free demo uh, and you have a free trial to start the app in the Shopify App Store. Okay, let's get into the uh, content. So this user on Shopify saying, hey, they created this website, Americano Pets, and they get a terrible speed score. Okay, can anyone guide me as to what I should improve? Okay. So we already made a few videos on this topic, which I link in the description, in which we get into more details about uh, how important uh, page load time speed is, uh, what, how to fix some elements to improve that. But today I want to focus just on showing you a quick tool that you can use to verify and measure what your uh, page speed load is. And that gives you a few actionable steps you can take by yourself to start improving your results. I think you're mentioning the Shopify speed score in your post, which appears on Shopify. Um, but I'm going to show you a different tool, which is going to be linked. They're not calculating the speed score the same way. So the actual score you're getting might differ using these two tools. But the tool I'm going to show you today by Google uh, actually gives you a list of things you need to do and how much speed you're going to get uh, and gain by uh, taking these measures. So I think it's super helpful, super uh, good to take actionable steps. So let me review the website. This is a website, super cute. Uh, play with your cat, your pets. You have different uh, products. I, I love the website. I think it's super, super cool as a, as a pet and a cat lover myself. I, uh, I find it super nice, super cool. I like this very much. Uh, and so let me show you. So it's the in the same panel. We showed a, a few days ago where I showed how to verify if your mobile, uh, if your website is mobile friendly. So you have to right click on your website and choose inspect at the bottom of the list. So this is if you're using uh, Google Chrome uh, as a browser. And here in this uh, right panel, so don't worry about all the, the code and everything, you don't have to worry. The most important thing is on the top panel, you need to go to Lighthouse. It might be hidden. In this case, you just click on the little the two uh, arrow signs here, and you have Lighthouse. And here you can generate a report. So I already did this, and this is what you're getting uh, on mobile. So it's not catastrophic, it's not great either, but um, what I like most about this tool is not the actual score you're getting. I mean, it's good to be able to measure, but you, also, you already have that in Shopify, and you might get a different score. I, I don't know what's your speed score on Shopify. But what I like here is it's really uh, decomposed into several elements. You can see like, you know, like half second by half second what your website looks like when it loads. And I think the biggest problem on your website is this first contentful paint, which takes 3.5 seconds to load. So before we can actually see something on the website, it takes quite a huge amount of time. And the uh, largest contentful paint, so it takes a lot of time before we get the full picture of uh, this first view on, on your website. Um, but what I like the most about this tool is you actually have in the opportunities section below, you actually have some uh, actionable uh, steps. So you can gain 1.35 seconds by 
properly sizing images on this page, you can get, gain 1.2 seconds by reducing uh, and removing unused JavaScripts. And there are a few things which you might not be able to remedy because you know they're tied to uh, the CMS you're using or to some apps or to Shopify itself. And it's okay because it's a trade-off at the end of the day if you're using more pictures uh, more um, and more features and more tools and more widgets, it's going to make the website a bit slower, but it also adds you know, on conversion rate and giving more things to the user. So I actually like that your website is very image heavy. Um, it's, I think it's good, it's very, very visual and I like that a lot, but there's a downside, a trade-off that it's going to slow down your website. But you can mitigate some of that just by uh, changing the image size. And you have a few examples here. For example, this one, which is, I think is a, is a product here. They're saying, you know, this one is 62K and you can actually save 53K out of the 62K. So the majority of that size could be saved. And I think that's because this image uh, can we open that in a new uh, tab? This image is quite big, whereas here on the home page, you just need a small miniature of that. So maybe uh, you can only load a, uh, a, a um, you know, minimized version of that image on the home page and have the big one on the category page or the product page. But for the home page, you can actually load a smaller version of that image and make a ton of, of savings. So that's the case for a bunch of these images which are really small on the home page so you don't need to load the big full size image in that case um, the second thing is it telling you reduce unused javascript so these are uh, tags or bits of codes that you're calling and that you might not be using so here they're mentioning google tag manager so uh, if you're actually using that then you should just disregard this item but if you're loading this but you're not actually using it you should consider just removing removing it because it's just slowing down the website you have a few other things like this widget which looks like from this report that it's not actually being used but it's being loaded so again this slows down somewhat the, the website um, but okay at the end of the day you know it's just a matter of trade-off so you can explore these options and i'm going to give you a uh, second option if you if you think it's complicated to locate this lighthouse tool you can also go directly to this uh, page speed insight and i will put this link in the description and this is a tool by google so it's very trust uh, trustworthy quite easy to use you just need to put your url you can click analyze and you have the report you have this for mobile and for desktop and you see on desktop your performance is actually much better it's it's quite usual to have a higher score on desktop than mobile so it's not a big deal so you know, here as well, we can see it takes some time to load and you probably have similar um, similar uh, uh, steps to take to improve the, the website, but it's not a super big deal, okay? So um, I think you can still learn from this, make a few corrections, uh, but I hope that you're, you know, getting good business. I don't have any info uh, about your business, your sales or conversions. I hope you're doing well and that you have a ton of conversions and you just want to optimize things a bit better. If you have a conversion problem, it might come from the slow initial loading time, which it's true. That's uh, really uh, something that can deter people from staying on the website. It might leave uh, altogether if it takes too much time to load. But I don't think that's going to ruin entirely your conversion rate. So if you have a conversion rate issue, it might come from somewhere else than the uh, speed score. Okay. If you want to share more info about your website, your stats, uh, your you know e-commerce activity, your marketing strategy, I'd be super happy to help you. I can offer you a free consulting session and a free audit of your website, your marketing strategy, your advertising account setup, all of that for free with no commitments, no strings attached. We just want to see you successful. And in the future, when you get uh, a good business going and you want to start advertising in more avenues especially on websites all over the web in your case would be blogs uh, from from pet owners to pet owners that talk about uh, cat toys and dog toys and dog furniture cat furniture and all that stuff we can target these websites specifically and run your ads on these websites and these would probably perform very well if you'd like to learn more feel free to book a demo book a call with the link in the description 
I uh, wish you a ton of success. I hope to speak to you soon. I wish you good luck with your website and I wish you to have a ton of happy customers and a ton of happy pets. Bye.